Hello everyone. I am Rakibul Alam, a PhD candidate in Civil and Environmental Engineering and I will give you a lecture on water treatment. It was 11th of May 2000. About 5,000 people began to simultaneously experience bloody diarrhea. And it is important to mention here that the total population of that city is 5,000. So all of them suffered diarrhea. 2,500 became very ill. And the total was loss was estimated $1.1 million. Why? Because of drinking unsafe water contaminated with E. coli bacteria. I'm sure you are thinking that it happened in an African country or in a remote place in Asian country. But I'm afraid it is not. It, and you will be, it happened very near to London. Have you ever heard the name of Wakaton? It happened in Wakaton, very close to London. So my objective is to show you how we can make the water safe for drinking purpose. This is my main objective to deliver this lecture. Would you please tell me what are the water sources that we collect water for drinking purpose? Do you have any idea? Rivers. Rivers, yes. This is number one source. But for Canada, do you have any idea? For London? Yes, yes, it, especially the Huron Lake, yes. So this is surface water, this is called surface water. Under surface water, there are several lakes, rivers, and in, if you go to the rural areas in Asia or, or uh, Africa, you will see there are so many ponds. They are using ponds to drink water. So those are under category of surface water. and. Many people drink groundwater. It is also a source of drinking water. And nowadays, when there are a lot of rainfalls, like Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, India, they are harvesting rainwater for drinking purposes. Can we drink water directly from those sources? Can we drink, if I give you a glass of water from Huron Lake, <laughs> will you drink? I will not. You will not. <laughs> because it needs some treatment. So let us see what kind of treatment we have. Number one, Mr. One is sedimentation, number two is coagulation, number three is filtration, and number four is disinfection. And there are a lot of techniques. I will I, I have already mentioned four because those four are very basics. If you follow those four basics, the, you can drink that water. But there are a lot of methodologies, a lot of technologies in for drinking water treatment. Have you heard the name of those techniques before? I'm sure you, you have heard. At least filtration. <laughs> <laughs> filter. Uh, many of you have filter unit at home. So I am just giving you some explanation of those technology in within a very short time. This is sedimentation. If you take one glass of water from a river body, and you you will see there are a lot of particles, a lot of particles in it. And if you keep your water for a, for a while, you will see that the particles which are very uh, bigger, is bigger and which is which especially gravity, that means which is uh, uh, ha which has weight larger than water, it will settle down. If you keep the water in a glass, after several time, you will see that there is a settlement of heavy particles. So this is called sedimentation. Now I will give you this water to drink. Will you drink? No, you will not drink that water. But it's clear than the river water because there are some settlements over there. So we have to follow other steps. This is called coagulations. There are still, still some particles which didn't settle down because those particles are very light. They cannot settle down by their own gravity because they are very light. So what should you do? We can use some chemicals. I will not give you the name of the chemicals, but you have to use some chemicals which are known as coagulant. If we use those coagulant into the water, it will make the size bigger 
of the particles. The, the, the small particles will get bigger and they have a weight, they will gain a weight and they will settle down here. So this is step, the particle that didn't settle down at sedimentation stages, they will settle down here. Now I will give you this water. Will you drink? <laughs> no, not yet. Why? Still the dirt inside. Darkness and dark. Okay, dark and anything else? Thank you. Okay, I will explain it later on. Yes, it has. It is. It is still dark. It still has some components which didn't settle down at yet. So filtration. I think everybody know filtration. In conventional system. There is a sand layer, sand layer which lies over a gravel layer. If we pour water from the top of the sand, it will come down and this is under drain. This is clear water. Now I'm telling you, will you drink this water? Not yet. What do you think? No, not yet. Why? Bacteria? Yes, the last component, bacteria. Because you didn't kill the bacteria up to this th third step. So you have to kill the bacteria. And I gave you a case study of Walkerton and the people suffered from bacteria because they did, did not, the authority did not kill the bacteria sufficiently. So those are the bacteria. How can you kill that? Do you have any idea? Chemical. Some could be killed by boiling water. Yeah. Yes, yes. Boiling water, uh, if you boil the water, it will kill the bacteria. That's for sure because bacteria can survive at 100 degrees Celsius temperature. So boiling is very important, but we'll not use boiling. Why? For the, for the mass scale. If, if we go for mass scale, for... It's impractical to boil. Yes, it, yes it needs energy, yeah. huge energy to boil the water. You can do it at home, at kitchen, mm -hmm. but whenever you supply a huge amount of water to the mass people, Boiling, boiling water is boiling is not a good option because it needs use of energy. Energy. So, do you have any other alternatives you, in your mind? I think someone might have mentioned it, like using a different chemical. Chemicals, right? Chemicals. Just uh, in our country, we use chlorine, bleaching, sometimes bleaching, bleaching powder. In Canada, uh, have you heard the name of Trojan? We company in Canada, just just bring it to London. They are using this technology, UV techniques. There's ultraviolet ray. We are scared about ultraviolet ray because it, when there is ozone layer, it, it, there is a hollow in ozone layer. The UV ray comes and it it, it it will make cancer on our skin. It is also harmful for the bacteria. So they are using the UV rays to kill to to, to kill this bacteria in a, in a water body. There's another option, this is, that is chemical, that is called bleaching. You, you can use this, those chemicals. You can see here, I, I'm injecting disinfectant, that is chemical, over there. And then it is the chart of microorganism. When water make, uh, comes into contact with chemicals, the bacteria is killed. And there is no bacteria at the end of the any unit. So con my conclusion is, according to the WHO, water-associated infection disease claim up to 3.2 million lives every year. That is 6% death of globally. So drinking water requires water treatment because there are harmful chemicals that exist along with bacteria. So drink safe water and live better. Thank you so much. Any question? Any questions? What did they fail to do in Walkerton? <laughs> oh, they, oh that, that's a very vital question. Uh, you have to maintain the chemical levels. So for example, uh, it depends on your number of organisms. Little organism, little chemicals. More organism, more chemicals. They fail to synchronize that. Mm -hmm. Just so many organisms, but they put only little chemicals. So there are so many bacteria, and it causes the diarrhea. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? So if you boil water, you're never introducing anything harmful, right? Yes. Which yes. would 
except for the amount of energy it uses, be the ultimate way to do it. Yes. So is there no point in them doing research into a way to sort of boil it, like flash freezing, only flash boiling, so that it uses less energy to actually boil water, so that everybody is safe? Uh, oh, and does anybody research that? Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think so, because it's mass level. If you, if you boil uh, several millions of gallons of water, it, it takes so many energy. But I maybe think they can find a different way to I, I don't think because so. I, I also hear a lot of bad things about fluoride now in water. Yes. Uh, oh. Leading to Alzheimer's and all sorts of things. So yes. Yes. Whatever. Yes. Uh, it will take time to explain yeah. everything. Sometimes boiling water is harmful. If, you, if there are some chemicals in there, mm -hmm. if you boil that water, the chemicals will be mm, uh, will spread it in, in the water. So it will take time to explain everything. Right. But boiling water is safe. Whenever there is so many bacteria. Boiling water is safe. But taking it right out of a, wa a lake, it's usually a safe way. Yes, yeah, safe way. Yeah, if, if you travel to African countries, if you have no safe drinking water, you can boil the pond so water. So even if you saw sediment, mm -hmm. um, dirt and whatnot, if it's been boiled, it's still essentially clean dirt, right? Like it doesn't harm you. Yes, right? yes, but aesthetic, aesthetically it is not sound. No, <laughs> no but it's not going to hurt you. Yes, no. sometimes, right? yes. Well,